I took these absolutely adorable little fluffy white and gold reindeer. They're little clip-on ornaments from Walmart with some gold bottle brush trees. And I made the most cutest little banner you ever did see. Okay, you guys, this one is a super easy one. It's gonna be a very quick video. You can whip this up in no time. So I use some gold tool. You almost can't even see it on video, but in, in person, it's really, really, really pretty gold tool. And I cut it into six strips that were an inch wide and they were about 10 inches long. And then I have this gold... Um, it's almost like a costumey material. Uh, that's also from Walmart. And I cut six strips of that. Same thing, about an inch wide, about 10 inches long. I cut six strips of this white, like newspaper book page fabric. And I cut six strips of coffee stained muslin. Okay. So I have four different fabrics. I have six strips of each, an inch wide, 10 inches long. And then once I got those all cut up, it's time to start to put it together. So I started by putting my reindeer in the middle. I didn't glue it on. I just clipped him to the middle of a long piece of twine. And then I just tied, it's called a lark's head knot. It's like the knot that you do in macrame. You know, you just fold it in half, open up the middle and then stick the ends through and around. So just like I show you there. And I just start tying it on to my twine. So I started with the reindeer and then I did a pattern. I did gold. I did the coffee stained muslin. Then I did the tool. Like I said, you can't really see it on video, but it is so pretty in person. It like absolutely makes the banner. And then I did the book page. So I did those four and then I added a gold bottle brush. So now I'm going to go over to the right hand side. So I'm going to reverse the pattern, you know, I'm going to go so that it goes gold is on each side of the reindeer. And then I did the tool, but then I stopped and I was like, do I want to do the muslin? I wasn't sure. So I left it out and I'm actually going to basically do the left hand side with the muslin. And then I'm going to do the right hand side without the muslin so that I can decide which way I really like it. Um, I kind of tortured myself. I went back and forth a million times. Ultimately, I was like, you know what? The muslin makes it look more full. So I did end up going ahead and using the muslin, but I'm still just putting it together. And I just did the pattern of the fabric and then a gold bottle brush tree and then the fabric and then a reindeer and then the fabric again. Okay. So I alternated each one um, throughout the entire banner. So I have a total of three reindeers here. I have a total of two bottle brush trees and I have six sets of fabric. Okay, so here it is all done, not all done. Here it is almost all done. And that's when I decided, nope, I do want the muslin. So I went back on that right hand side you see here. I kind of spread them out a little bit so I could fit the muslin in. And I went back and I added the muslin into my little banner here. It was really easy, it didn't take long at all. Um, I still, it could, you could have gone with or without it and it would have looked good either way, but I decided to stick with it. So I'm just finishing up the left-hand side here. And then once I had everything all tied on and I liked where the placement was, it is time to glue it together. So I just glued the little reindeer right by the little clothespin that they came on. I glued the little bottle brush trees on. And then once I had them to pl in all in place, it was all done, you guys. This was such an easy one. I would love to know if you're going to make something like this. It's so pretty, so easy. You could add more stuff into this if you want. I thought about making a little tag that says Merry Christmas, but I decided to keep it simple, and it goes exactly with the theme of my living room. So I tried it here on my bookcase. I had it. It's hard. The lighting's bad right here because the window's behind it, but I loved it here on the bookcase, and then I wanted to try it out hanging on my mirror. I just love putting a little banner on the mirror, so it's still on the mirror now let me know which place do you like it better the bookcase or the mirror make sure that you share this video and let me know in the comments what do you think of this one